In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the negative numbers from a list in Python. So we can make a list in Python like this. Nums is equal to, and we'll put some numbers in here. And some of these numbers will be negative. So we'll have a negative four and two negative eights. So if we want to remove the negative numbers from this list, there's a number of ways we could do it. One way we could do it is to create a new list and only append the elements from the nums list that are not negative to that new list. So we'll have a new list called filtered that's going to initially be empty. Then we'll loop through each number in the numbers list and we'll only append the number to the filtered list if it's not negative. So we'll have for number in nums. If the number is greater than or equal to zero, so if the number is not negative, then we'll append the number to the filtered list with the append method. So we'll have filter.append the number. Then if we print out the filtered list, we're going to find that it's our original list with the negative numbers removed. So we'll print out filtered here. We'll save this and run our program just to confirm that we do have the list with the negative numbers removed. And you can see that negative four, negative eight, and negative eight have been removed in this new filtered list. So that's one way to solve the problem. Another way to solve the problem would be to use Python's built-in filter function. So what we'll do is make a call to filter. And filter is going to return the filtered list. We want to remove the negative numbers from the list. What we need to pass filter as a first argument is a function that's going to return true if we want to keep the element in the list and false if we want to remove the element from the list and the function will be passed each element in the list. So we'll call the function check number and the function will have a single parameter, the number itself. We're just going to return whether the number is greater than or equal to zero because if this is true, we want to keep the number in the list. Now we'll call the filter function with check number as the first argument and the nums list as the second argument. And basically the filter function is going to call the check number function for each element in this list. And if it returns true, then it's gonna keep that element in the list. If it returns false, it's gonna filter it out of the list. Now the filter function will return what's called an iterator. We can convert that to a list by wrapping it in list. So we're going to wrap the iterator that's returned from filter with list. That's going to convert the return value to a list. So we can save this and run a program. And we get the exact same result as before. So this method also works. Now this function here is a very small basic function. In situations like this, sometimes it's better to use what's called a lambda function. A lambda function is an anonymous function that we can define right in place. So it's a function that doesn't have a name and we can define it right here. So we could say lambda n colon n greater than or equal to zero. So the way this function works is that n is going to be the parameter. The result of the expression n is greater than or equal to zero is going to be the return value of this function. So if n is greater than or equal to zero, the function is going to return true. Otherwise it's going to return false. And that's it. That's our entire function defined right there. And that's called a Lambda function. And if we save this version of the program and test it out, we're going to get the exact same result as before. So this approach also works. Finally, we could also use what's called a list comprehension to solve this problem. So here we could have open bracket, item for item in nums if item is greater than or equal to zero. So list comprehensions allow us to create new lists from existing lists. And the way this reads is put the item in the list for each item in the nums list if the item is greater than or equal to zero. So we can save this and test it out. And this approach also works with each of the approaches we've taken so far, the existing nums list is maintained. So here we could print out nums and nums is still its own list. 
we could run this and we see that we have both lists here. If for some reason we wanted to alter the original list itself, we could have here nums is equal to the result of this list comprehension. And this would actually alter the nums list itself. Technically, it would replace the nums list with a new list built from the nums list. So we could run this and we see we get the filtered list, but this time there's no second filtered list. There's just one nums list. So these are some of the ways we can remove the negative numbers from a list in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.